Hi, um, I'm doing an update for the pond here in Sausalito. I just filmed this video and it, there was no sound, so I was very disappointed, and so now I have to do it over. Um, so, you know, I've already done this, so I'll try to make it brief and informative, but uh, I might not go so much into detail. Um, so here's the pond in, in July, I think it's July 26th. Uh, it hasn't rained in very many months here. It's been very hot and also uh, windy and uh, at times a little bit cold, but uh, anyway, uh, the pond is full of grey water at this point. The grey water is uh, siphoned into this tub up here, this bathtub, and then it overspills in the bathtub and it goes through the hill under underground basically and seeps out somewhere over here um, and into the, the first pond. Uh, and then I noticed also that the second pond is, there's a seep that goes from this pond to the second pond, which is lower down below. So there's a, like a three-tiered system going on here, um, which I hadn't planned. I actually planned the water to come from the uh, tub and over here on this little, I made a little stream bed or something, but the water didn't want to go that way. So. Uh, I figure going through the soil is even better because it, there's more filtration, there's more contact with soil and microbes. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, the pond is full of plants. It's alive with uh, the insect larvae, mosquitoes. Um, I've been putting pellets in to control them. I don't I haven't noticed a huge amount of mosquitoes, so I guess I'm doing something right. Um, I'm hoping there's other animals that are going to move in to eat the mosquito larvae so that I don't have to do this. And, uh, I have no idea how that will happen. Hopefully we'll get some um, dragonflies uh, in here. Um, so I've got some rushes growing here. I have this plant, I don't know what it's called, some feathery, feathery leaf thing. Um, I planted some um, watercress. Um, then along the edges there's just random stuff that grows in the garden. This is a fever few, some parsley over there. There's a rose up above. Across the way there's a California dogwood, I believe. I took a cutting from something. Um, and then inside the uh, inside the, the filtrate first filtration tub there's goatu cola. Um, and some aquatic plant I can't remember the name of, as well as um, some uh, papyrus, which isn't doing so well. So all of these plants are filtrating the water, and it, it's, even though this is gray water from the washing machine, it doesn't smell gross over here. When it's coming out, you get a faint smell of soap, soap water, but um, the water sitting here does not have a nasty smell or anything like that. So everything biologically seems to be working. Um, so yeah, that's it. The pond, uh, which has, was glade, and... Uh, I didn't do any, didn't put any cement, I didn't use any plastic. It was all biological, um, biological um, cuttings, trimmings, uh, animal droppings, fodder. Um, so there you go. You can make a, you can at least start, and it'll, you know, who knows, maybe this, this pond will get more and more um, waterproof as layers of decomposing things uh, fall into it. And, the pond may actually build itself over time. This is the hope I have anyway. So we'll see how it goes. No plastic, no cement, no problem.